All right, it's happened. We're, we're back in lockdown. It's like Groundhog Day, only without the, uh, the peerless acting talent of Andy McDowell. Andy Groundhog. <laughs> yeah, sadly that means it might be a few weeks until I can get back on the uh, restaurant challenges, which is a shame because they're my, my favorite to shoot. But uh, don't worry, if you're out there feeling sad and hopeless, I got some videos coming up to improve your prognosis. <laughs> that was a good one. Anyway, you know, last year I planned to get out to America as much as I did in 2019, but of course that didn't really pan out. So fingers crossed for some time this year. And one challenge that I really wanted to do, that I've always wanted to do more than any other, is one called the Baker's Dozen Challenge at a restaurant called Tom and Chi. So I thought, if I can't get out there, then uh, maybe I could just make our very own version right here in the kitchen and give it a bash. Let's get to it. No expense spared for this video. We've got genuine Krispy Kremes. I don't really think that through. I don't really trust myself to perfectly half these. Do you want to do it? All right, step two is to uh, to apply mayonnaise. I would normally do this with uh, with melted butter, but apparently it works better if you use mayonnaise. <laughs> it doesn't matter how old you get. Flatulence is always funny. Look at this. I could be a I could be like a professional icer. Look at the speed. Between this and the, the spam and uh, Oreo burger, people are going to think I've lost my mind. Quickly wipe down the surface here. Can't have people saying the uh, kitchen's a mess. You know, there's actually um, a lot of love for this grill on the channel. Lots of people ask me where to buy it. You can get it on Amazon. Just type in teppanyaki grill and buy the XXXXL one. This is the biggest you can get, I think. Did that sound like an advertisement for Amazon? This last one, we need to put some special, special toppings on. <laughs> okay, do you want to do it? Yeah. We gotta put um, Randy's special topping on there. We got a creamy solution here. It's a banana cream pie donut, which just looks phenomenal. Always have a bunch of bananas at the ready. You're not the most artistic, are you? No. All right, now, it might not be the, the most appetizing looking challenge, but it smells, it smells delicious. All right, now, a lot of my friends have done this challenge, my eating buddies, and uh, I can see why, because although it looks a bit zany, it also looks flipping delicious. Now, the rules are you get 12 grilled cheese donuts and one special top donut. I've gone with uh, bananas and cream, which is what the main man, Randy Santel, picked uh, for his video to shut up and eat and if you do it in 10 minutes you only get 10 minutes you get it on the house obviously i don't get it on the house because i'm not at the restaurant but you, you, you get the idea so without further ado this is baby soon this is the tom and chi baker's dozen challenge but like a diy version who's gonna you know how long randy took to do it find out looks like it's nine minutes 17. Ooh, in the nick of time, so this must be tougher than it looks. I'll also put a calorie count up on screen. I imagine it's going to be pretty ridiculous because of the amount of fat, but whatever. See your timer? Let's get going. It's true. What's up, Benobby? Welcome back to another video. Don't worry. I've got you. I'll, I'll keep the content coming. Come what may, and uh, today we're trying something a little bit different. Thought I might try and cheer myself up a little bit <laughs> and uh, recreate, I guess, what would be like an all time bucket list food challenge for me. I've always wanted to do this one. A big fan of uh, grilled cheese donuts, believe it or not. If, uh, if you've been watching the channel a while, you might know I've got a bit of a, an odd palate. So I thought, yeah, let's try and recreate Tom and Cheese infamous Baker's Dozen Challenge. This is proper, this is what I would call fairground food. It makes no sense, but it's delicious. What's better than that other stuff in our room? 
Oh, this is my favorite thing to eat. Yeah, I don't know. I, I often get asked what my favorite food is, and I tend to get caught between these grilled cheese donuts, which I know sound a bit odd, and a cheesecake. Tough choice to make. Not sure I can do it. Oh. I think I'll sit on the fence with that one. <laughs> this one is really cheesy. Yeah, it's still not as cheesy as the uh, as the Christmas single, though. <laughs> Nothing gets close to that. Anyway, yeah, today we're recreating the uh, the Baker's Dozen Challenge from uh, Tom and Chi, which is a, a restaurant chain in America. I think it was made famous by a show called Shark Tank. And this is a, a really pretty famous food challenge, probably because it's so wacky, you know, and, and different to your typical kind of burgers, hot dogs, nachos, pizza challenge, whatever. And yeah, a lot of my friends have done this. I showed in the in the intro there. Nathan Figueroa, one of my one of my all-time favorite channels. Uh, Dan Killer Kennedy and of course Randy Santel, they've, they've all done it. And uh, I think the maddest thing about this is the calorie count. <laughs> like for this amount of food, it's crazy. I think it's mostly due to the uh, the 52 slices of, uh, of cheese in there. It reminds me of that uh, Simpsons episode. <laughs> you know, Homer's like, Mmm, 64 slices of American cheese. <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm like a, like a human bagpipe. Just, just, just a big sack of air. That's, actually, that's an accurate description of me. Anyway, I can kick back a little now. I didn't really talk much because uh, the 10 minutes is not a lot of time. Plenty of time now. Only in America. Banana and cream in a grilled cheese donut. That doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, even for a man like me, that, that's too much. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you did or didn't, and I'll catch you in the next one. <sighs> Just in the nick of time. Well, with the um, the exception of the last donut there, <laughs> they actually tasted pretty good. I've had grilled cheese donuts before. I actually really like them. I'm sure the ones from uh, Tom and Chi taste far better than mine. But um, yeah, that was the uh, the DIY Baker's Dozen Challenge from uh, from Tom and Chi. This actually might not be a bad idea for a, for a series. You know, during lockdown, while I can't get out and travel, I might try and recreate some of the uh, the more famous food challenges from across the world. So if you want to see that. Let me know in the comments, but for now, be it out. I'm, I'm sure that Krispy Kreme donuts are getting smaller. Hey, that's cheating. <laughs>